Billies make your duck duck, push your battle run. Billies make your duck duck duck. I'm all about my bread, every motherfucking crumb. Thirty rounds in my G like it's. Just had like lunch and we're talking right now about like why people just like can't get in camera you know like you guys are like so scared of like filming yourself getting out there and you don't understand that the world moves with attention Wes has proven it I have proven it we come from different backgrounds but we come from nothing in a point and the only thing that got us here is attention so if you don't get out there get in camera no one's gonna know you. I mean, that's why I always say your success will never exceed your level of personal development. The person you are, there's something in you. I was just, I brought up right now, I said, we were talking about a mutual friend of ours that has trouble getting on camera, and I said, it's only something in them, a personal development flaw and issue where they're holding themselves back, and usually it's your guys' self talk. You guys tell yourself you don't want the stage. You tell yourself you want to retire and just disappear on your own on vacation somewhere and never have to perform again. It would be, most of you guys would be deathly afraid of taking the stage and having to be a public speaker. We love it. Why? Only because we took it to a spiritual, we took the spiritual aspect out of it. Nobody really likes it. Nobody really can not miss every day like we do and want to do all that shit all the time. Until you make it your God-given purpose, and then once you make it spiritual, it makes sense. If you haven't attached all your personal development flaws and what you bring the world and what you're doing for a living to a, a spiritual sense of making it your God-given purpose and what you're supposed to do and making it where you, there's no plan B because your vision is not up for debate, as soon as you make that switch, mental switch, then it's not even personal development, it becomes spiritual. And that's what most people lack, is they think they're the only person doing this. Like I said before, nobody's a good writer, nobody's particularly good in thought, nobody's really a good speaker. People like this are good listeners. We listen above and we deliver without blocking the message. Stop blocking the message. You, you, you probably just listen to that that he just said, and that's massive. Like, you, you, I mean, he just, he just told you like all the secret of why we drive Bugattis, but you probably didn't even hear it because you have like headphones and you have like two frequencies. You have glasses and you have two vision, you know, light and dark. You guys are watching always the world in the dark side and you're listening to the other frequency, that the frequency in this world. So the thing is that the shit that goes around in this world, the material world, is fucking nonsense. It's stupid. You gotta change the frequency and tap into the one up there. So then you're gonna start like seeing the world different. You're gonna start like listening to the world different. You hear him, you hear me, but you're gonna like understand something different. Like understand like the light, the light you see is what you perceive. We everyone perceive the light different ways. You, you may see like the rich abilities. You're like, oh, these guys are like so much realistic. They're wearing a like forty million dollar watch. That's what you think. That's not what we think. If, if we thought that this made us materialistic, I know what. I know myself. We will sell this shit. If we, if we feel that this watch is like control us, we'll sell it. So we don't like nothing to control us except the message above. So understand that. Start talking into people that understand this frequency but it's very important that because you know i've all my life been like kind of like pushed away with religion and the church because like religion and church is one thing god is different you know spirit is different thing so you, it's not normal to see people like us like very spiritual that take so much action and look like this and have my hair like everything but we actually are the most spiritual people out here that's why we get all this abundance and that's why we live for others that's why we share everything that we have because we understand that if we don't share our knowledge, our wisdom, God is going to take everything away. He gave us a Bugatti. If, if we don't share this, He'll take it away. If you want to keep anything in this life, you have to give it away. But the thing is, is if you don't want to believe it, you're going to be mad at this, but we're prophets. Like, we're delivering a message from above. As long as we're correctly delivering the message 
and being the living entities that can deliver it, being the offerings that deliver it correctly, and we're getting the change below, most importantly, we're getting the change below that God wants. He'll continually bless us with all the resources we need to get it done. It will never stop growing as long as we don't stop teaching and we, we don't stop not living the message, being the offerings that we can listen to. So prophets, you're supposed to be a prophet. You're supposed to deliver this message from above, but you're an asshole. And you're saying, oh, I'll do it when, when I get, I'll be grateful for my life once this and this and this happens. No, no, no. You're gonna get this, this, and this once you're grateful for your life. And the whole thing is, is once you start to learn answers, the only thing is to serve others. I understand that the thing is like big difference between people that are tapping into the frequency from God is that we don't see money, okay? We just like focus in working in ourselves and helping people, and then God brings the money. People tap into the frequency. Whatever you bring, whatever you yeah. In this world, they'll just do everything for the money. Understand that when you really come like serve God, He will always provide. Like, bro, like I've never like had an issue with like anything. I've always had everything that I needed, even when I was in the hostel. You know, I had 50 bucks in a bank account. I had faith, you know, spiritual faith, and I always got whatever I needed in that moment to make that mission that I had in that moment. My mission right now is different to my mission before. It always evolves. You gotta keep working there, never stop, never stop. And big thing, don't work for money, don't work to retire, because then you're working to die. You know, work with a purpose, you know, work because you need the work, don't work because you need the money. That's a big, big difference.